Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. I'm going to use a trim tool to take these clips off. Hold on. Sure. I'm going to point out that there's four clips across top of the grill. I'm going to use a trim tool. I'm going to take these four clips off on top of the grill. Just pry up on the center part and then the rest will come out. Pull those out and pull the grill out a little bit. There's a little tab in here. I'm going to push down on this with a screwdriver. I need to like push it in a little bit. Let's see. Just like that. Then in the center is the same thing. There's a long screwdriver. Just push in on the tab. Oops. Just like that. And then on the end, it comes out. These tabs just have to be pushed in and the grill slides right out. We're going to raise our vehicle up so we can access underneath a little bit easier. You can do this on the ground. It'll be easier if you raise the front of the vehicle up a little bit. We're going to remove these torque screws. There's one on each side. This one right here and one over here. I'll we'll use a T25 socket extension and a ratchet. Pull those out. Next, I'm going to take these three retainer clips out. I'll use a trim tool. Pull the center part of it out first to release it. And pull the rest of the clip out. Do the same for the other three. I'm going to remove some of these clips right here. I'm going to use a Phillips head screwdriver. I can unscrew the center portion. If I go in there gently, unscrew it. And then I can pull the push clip out. Do the same for this one. Sometimes they get a little corroded. You just, just hold the clip. And then I can pull it right out. Just like that. I can pull this inner fender well out a little bit. Actually, I can pull this little cover off. That'll give me a little more room. Right here. Pull that out of the way. There's a connector right here that needs to be disconnected. Just push on the tab. There's a little lock. You just push down on the lock. Try to wiggle the connector out. There we go. So I used a pick just to disconnect this connector. Uh, this thing was on there pretty good. Just pushing down on the lock tab wasn't doing it. They just went in underneath here and released the lock. Disconnected that. Okay. Take my trim tool and remove this clip. Right here. Pull that out. Clip. There's a clip right here. Try in the back of this.
I'm going to use my 90 degree pick to get this started. Pry that out a little bit. And I'll use the trim tool. Pull that clip out. I'm going to unplug this connector right here. Push down on the lock, pull the connector out. I'm gonna grab this part of the, we're gonna grab this part of the fender flare and pull it out, just like that. I'm gonna pull this out a little bit. I'm just gonna use a T25. I'm gonna take this Torx screw out. Now this side of the bumper is loose, and I'm gonna do the same for the other side. Disconnect these bulbs. I'm gonna squeeze these two locks. Disconnect the fog light bulb. And then to disconnect this other marker bulb, just push down on the lock and pull out the connector. All right, now that the sides are loose, we're gonna take these two Torx bolts out. Use my T25 extension and a ratchet. Pull that out. And pull this one out. And I can just grab the bumper. Pull it forward a little bit. There's these two retainers holding this hose going across the front. I'm just gonna use some needle nose pliers, squeeze these, release these. Then I'll grab the front of the bumper and pull it off. All right, to take the horn out, I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Take this 10 millimeter bolt out. Bolt out, and then I can grab this electrical connector, release the lock, and pull it out. This is the high horn. Now I'll show you how to take the low horn out. Take a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Take this bolt out. That out. Disconnect this electrical connector, just push down and pull it out. To reinstall it, take this connector, plug it back in. Take our 10 millimeter bolt, get it started. Snug it down. Take our high horn, we'll plug it in. And line the bracket up with the hole. Take the bolt, get the bolt started. Take our 10 millimeter socket and snug it down. All right, now we're gonna reinstall the bumper. Just slide this over here.
Make sure that goes under there. That'll go like that. Same with this side. It goes in position like that. We can put these two Torx bolts back in right there. I'm going to slide this trim out of the way a little bit and then we'll take this T25 Torx screw, line that up, get that started, then we'll take the ratchet and tighten it down. Like that up. And on the front, there's these two clips. Those are going to slide into those slots. Push those in. Take this push pin. This is going to go in here. Like that, push it down, lock it in place. Another push pin that goes right here. Push that down and lock it in place. We're going to connect all these connectors. This connector is going to go to the side marker. Line it up, lock it in. Just like that. And there's this connector is going to go to this driving light or parking light. Lock that in there. It's going to the fog light. Line this up, lock it in place. One more. This goes to the ambient air temp sensor harness. Plug that in right there. All those are connected. You push this panel back in. Put this cover back on. Just line the slots up. Lock it in. Take these push pins. Sometimes these push pins are kind of hard to put in. You're going to like fold all these down and then once that's in, push down, lock it in place or you could screw it down. Same with this one. Get that in position and push it down and then we'll do the same procedure for the driver's side. From underneath the vehicle, we'll put these push pins back in. I got new push pins for these. Lock 
those in place. We're gonna install these torque screws on the two sides. The T25 extension and ratchet. Snug it up. Now we're gonna reinstall the grill. We wanna align these push clips up at the bottom. There's slots in the bottom that they go into. Lock those in place. They generally go in pretty easily. Then we have push pins. We're gonna install those four push pins right here. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.